did your doctor get it wrong again? Really? I mean, this is not a crazy question. The reality is, is that doctors get it wrong all the time. And just because they have a few little papers on the wall, or a few degrees or masters or whatever doctoral degrees on the wall, it doesn't mean that they are always right. Guess what? Because they are humans too. And humans make mistakes. But why is it that we always want to believe everything they tell us? But if somebody of a husband tells us something, or somebody else tells us something, we always want a second opinion. But when it comes to doctors, we don't always do that. And doctors do say, oh, you have cancer. You have a tumor. You need surgery. You are depressed. You need to take this medication. This is what they say. And guess what? They are wrong. Well, the topic today, did your doctor get it wrong again? And you know what? The truth is that that is what many doctors do. But before I continue with this topic, I want to remind you guys that every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be interviewing speakers and coaches and different people on this screen. And they will be sharing with you about how to do things better, what they have learned, um, their expertise with you and with me. And that's the reason why this show is here in Vivo Live, to help you grow at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time every Thursday. So if you have a topic idea that you want to share with us, please send us an email to info at mvivoassociates.com. Again, info at mvivoassociates.com. Also, if you are an expert in a particular area, motivational speaker, coach, a writer, or author, or well, whatever you are good at, and you want to present your topic here on this show, please do so by sending us an email to the email that I just mentioned. Also, don't forget to comment as you are listening to this presentation. Comment below and let us know what you think. If there is something that we can do better, I always want to do better and always want to bring you good content So to help you grow because that's what it's all about we are here to grow and if you are not growing guess what you are wasting time so let's not waste time and let's grow but it will be regarding this topic did your doctor get it wrong last year i had to retreat from my show i spent months in just a lot of agonizing pain my head was hurting, my, my, um, I had dizziness, I had, I had all these things that happening to me. And for over four years, I've been misdiagnosed. I have been told that I have, um, that I would have to have surgery on my spine, um, that I have been told all kind of ridiculous um, conclusions about what I have. Um, based on all different doctors but because I don't drink I don't smoke I never took drugs no any of these things I decided I'm gonna keep learning so I visited Mexico um, I did some testing over there the tests came out good and but there was still a problem um, and I had to keep searching but in my search the pain got just got worse and I started crying because of pain. I started getting frustrated. And any time I went and visit a doctor, it was irritating because you got to ask the same question knowing that you're going to get the same answers. And you know what? My son came to town to help me because he's a project manager. Um, a very good project manager and he decided to implement his work into my own life so we started um, he decided to come here but in that that he come over here um, we went to a party uh, we went to a party with my husband and although I don't I wasn't going to parties what happened is that I was sitting down and then I decided to go dance with my husband and we are not dancing or rock and roll music or anything like that I have my hand like this, untucked in, inside my husband's hand like this, just 
resting my hand on him and one hand on his shoulder the other hand on his shoulder you know dancing like this whatever and oh my god i got this headache i just got a blackout i got dizziness to the point that i could not even say help it was just oh it was just painful i don't even remember what happened all i remember it was a pain it went blank and i went back and in that time i went back my husband fell on top of me i hurt my nose a little bit here but the ambulance came everybody at the party had to do with me you know i'm sure some people must have thought i was drunk or something but everybody that know me is they know that i don't drink i got i get drunk on water because i don't drink um i don't smoke i never took drugs like i said so and and you know everything so they had to take me to the emergency room when they take me to the emergency room they laid me in the on the bed and my my arm um, heartbeat heart rate was around 59 at that moment so they did testing they tested my heart all that kind of stuff everything came out good i got sent home they look at me like i'm some kind of fool or something oh you're fine everything is good and guess what i'm still having the headache they give me some kind of insulin they give me headache medicine nothing works it did not work with my son doing his research we discovered through the mayo clinic that i have something and it lined up with everything that have been happening with me and i'm going to be seeing more doctors but doctors that know what they're talking about doctors that are humble and willing to find out what is it that you have and not simply just take a paper like this this is oh okay yeah you need to drink this three times a day for five weeks or whatever and then when you come back we can give you something stronger that doesn't work ridiculous ridiculous if this is what they are doing with you be careful a lot of these doctors are in it for the money too. I mean, they go to school because they want to make good money. But you need to make sure that if they are recommending something that they are sponsoring, don't take it. You need to make sure that you are asking questions. That you understand what is happening in your body. That you understand uh, that they don't know everything. Because if you believe everything they tell you, you are going to be destroyed. And I'm not saying that all doctors are wrong. I am saying that most doctors are wrong. And you know what makes them wrong? Is their cockiness. Their inability to ask questions, to listen, and pay attention to you as their patient. You are not everybody. You are an individual, and they need to treat you like that. But because they are too busy with everybody else, they are not focused on what you are telling them. And all they do, they hear, I have a headache. Oh, migraine. I, you know, they see you cry. Oh, depression. They give you get angry. Oh, anxiety attack. <laughs> It is so ridiculous to the point that sometimes I want to slap them in their face. But you know, you gotta be self-controlled too, you know, otherwise we're gonna get the police and all of this. But the, the, the thing is that after you have been in pain, I have been in pain for over four years, and the pain is excruciating and it's just been getting worse. And all of them have been able to tell me something else, and when they really don't understand that that is the wrong. I mean, when they understand that they were wrong in something, they say, oh, you have depression and anxiety attack. Guess what? They did my blood test. They did my MRI. I got cat, CAT scan. I got uh, all kind of testings. All kind of tests. 
I am healthy because guess what? I've been doing the intermittent fasting, which I don't eat after seven, and then the, don't eat you know until the next day at twelve. That's what I was doing before. No, I'm on a vegan diet, and that is no dairy product. I'm still gonna eat my honey, but no dairy product, no meat. I've been doing that. So when they did all this testing, I am healthy. No diabetes, my sugar is good, my cholesterol is good, 148, that was my cholesterol. And um, what else? Um, my blood pressure is good. My son, by doing his investigation, not because he discovered the, the diagnosis, is because he was doing research based on what I was experiencing, and he was able to find the right clinic and the right doctors. The clinic is called the Mayo Clinic. Through his investigation, he found out that this is what's going on. So now, this year, I'm going to be seeing more doctors to be able to find out. But with the simple, um, with the simple advice that we have been given based on this diagnosis, I have been able to talk to you now. I can actually talk to you, the energetic Sandra, the Sandra that talks. I am able to talk to you right now, even though I'm a little dizzy as I talk to you right now, mostly on this side of my face, um, this eye, I'm feeling dizzy, and I have a headache like right here, sometimes my headache changed to here, sometimes, but it's just like this pain, but over the f four years, I have learned to live with pain, yes, I have learned to live with pain, nobody should learn to live with pain, but I have to keep moving, and I have to keep fighting, to find answers because when we find answers then we can know what is it that we need to do to alleviate the pain and right now what I have learned is that the diagnosis doesn't have a cure because it's a new um, it's a new symptom but there are things then to alleviate it if you are getting diagnosed falsely and you still believe that there's something wrong and they are wrong about what they diagnosed you or what they told you you're right and you keep you need to keep asking questions you need to keep finding another doctor because let me tell you if your doctor is not listening to you you need to find another doctor that is willing to listen to you that is willing to find answers with you that is what you need to do because they don't all know. They are humans and they make mistakes. Don't let any doctor, anybody tell you that you have something and then you give up because of being wrongly diagnosed. Please do your investigation. I have a, a, a family member that she was suffering with stomach problems and the food wasn't staying in her stomach and all the time she was throwing up and having a headache or whatever they actually you know what they say they wanted to call her so many things but they also say depression can you believe that they say that they whatever the reason that they had it sounds so stupid to me so guess what she had to do she had to go to another country where the doctors doesn't have as much as, you know, diplomas on their wall, as much certifications on their wall, but they have humility and they were able to listen. They were so humble and ready to listen that they were able to identify what she had. And she had a virus inside of her stomach. They produced, they did, um, they performed a surgery and now she's fine. They had to clean out her stomach because there was something destroying her stomach that the food was not able to stay. And guess what? She's good now. She had lost so much weight to the point that she just looked anorexic. And now she's starting to gain that work, that weight because the food is starting to stay in her body. People are constantly misdiagnosed because of prideful, know-it-all doctors, lazy bums 
that do not want to care about you. They care about the money that they see in their bank account and about you calling them doctor. That's all they care about. And all they care about is giving you five minutes of their time to write a little paper and a prescription. I am not paying you to write me a prescription. Guess what? I don't want your prescription. I don't want your medication. I am paying you to do your work. I am paying you to be humble and try to listen to what I have to say and tell me what you think it is and why. Not simply tell me, this is what it is and this is what you need to do. No, I am not this take this and sit down type. I am the type that you better know what you're talking about. And that has been a diff little difficult for me. So I am telling you right now, I'm actually having a hard time focusing. But if you have been wrongly diagnosed, or you feel that you have been wrongly diagnosed, please do some research. And especially check out the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic, um, based on the research, based on the people, there's so many people that I know that are, that have doctors there they are doing such a good job because they don't immediately say this is what you have they say let's find out please do your homework please write down everything that is happening to you and just because they tell you that's what it is it doesn't mean that they are right so i actually wrote down some of the things then that are helping me to be able to put all of this information together first of all keep track of everything that is happening to you get all your documentation especially with the HIPAA law here in the United States I just did that and I just got um, busy especially with the HIPAA law in the United States if you have been to doctors in different states all of them cannot see what what you have so you have to be able to get your documents from different places. It's not for you to give it to them. It's for you to just share it to them with, with them. But you need to keep track. So you, you put all this documentation in your binder and from the past all the way to the present. And you are going to keep this information. Don't give it to anybody because you care about you more than everybody else care about you. Doctors, not all of them, but most of them, they're only in for the money or for the title. A lot of the good ones, they are humble and they are in it because they really want to help. They have a dream to help people, to heal people. And that's the doctor that you need to find. The one that really cares about you. He doesn't care about, oh, he's going to spend five minutes with you. He care about asking you questions, listening to you, and coming back with answers. Even if that answer is wrong, he will say, guess what, we tried it, this doesn't work out, let's try something else. Let me, let me, let me do some more investigation, because this is common, but this is what you say here is not common, okay? So please, find someone that is willing to understand you, that doesn't turn you into just a number. Track everything that is happening to you. Make a list of questions before every visit. Have your questions ready. You know, when we go to the doctor, a lot of the time it's like, oh, I had a question that I had, but I don't remember. Well, you should not be doing that from now on. You need to write down what questions you have, okay? Also, you need to have a copy of any relevant lab or blood work that you have done anything that you have done if you went to the emergency room get that documentation whatever it is have your documents ready to show your primary provider also a list of all the medication that you have had in the past how did they work for you what they did for you don't get me wrong I did not do these things. This is the thing that I'm learning. And from this point forward, this is what I'm going to do. But it's not what I was doing. So if you were doing it, check mark for you. But always make sure that you have a progress of your symptom, of what is going on with you. Because only you 
are your best doctor. Guess what? Your doctor might be wrong. Anyway, don't forget that in Vivo Live, this is a motivational show giving you all kind of topic on Thursdays in English at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Tuesdays in Spanish, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time with your host, me, Sandra Graves. If you are an expert in a particular area, life coach, um, motivational speaker, writer, author, an expert, just an expert in a particular area and you would like to be interviewed on this show, please send us an email to info at invivoassociates.com. If you are a sponsor and you would like to have your face or your post, your, uh, your announcement on this screen, then please let us know. Send us an email to info at invivoassociate.com and let us know that you would like to be a sponsor. Anyway, um, don't forget also that I am on Envivo Live on Instagram. Envivo Live on Instagram. <laughs>